Meanwhile, I had uh, become Associate Dean for Academic Affairs at the University of Utah School of Law. I was sitting at my desk in my office and a former student came in. He was now a prosecutor with the Salt Lake uh, County Prosecutor's Office. And he said, I'm just here to give you notice that uh, we have one of your students under surveillance. And I, I asked, of course, which one? And he said it was Ted Bundy. I said, oh, that's interesting. I said, Ted is a very uh, polite student. I'd be surprised if he were in trouble. Oh, yes, he said, he's in big trouble. We think he's the serial killer. I was surprised, of course, had no idea. He asked me if I remembered a certain date that uh, Ted Bundy had scratches on his face, and I couldn't remember that. And then he, he said, now, we want to do surveillance of this student without his knowledge, and so we want you to keep this confidential. I said, well, all right, I'll, I'll do that. Apparently that was successful because I heard later that in the course of the surveillance, a witness who had been uh, under attack by Ted Bundy but had escaped was taken to the student lounge and in the course of sitting there, students came in and out and she had spotted Ted Bundy as her attacker. Anyway, uh, not long after that, the students had a student and faculty party. We were at a park. Basically, it was a picnic. My students were there, and, and the group that had befriended him happened to include two women students. Uh, one was blonde, and one had dark, long, dark hair, which was Ted Bundy's uh, M.O. So in, in the middle of the picnic, Ted Bundy and these two uh, women students left the gathering and got in his VW and drove off. That made me very nervous and I considered calling the prosecutor because I worried that their surveillance would not keep up with him and something would happen to one of those students. 